What up everybody? We're about to go pick up a Super Beetle and probably barter uh, some parts. We'll see. We are now out here at Grant's place after many, many miles of misadventures on my part. And here is the, ooh, let me see if I can cut on some light. Here is the 73 I'm getting off Grant. Take back to my house, finally. Adjustable front suspension, it's just a shell, two-tone, patina's good, fenders are in it, rad steering wheel, and such. No motor, not quite sure what we're going to do with it, might be building it for a friend, might be, I don't know, nobody's paid me for it yet, so we'll see. Needs motor, needs transaxle, has fenders, can get hood, I can get you anything you want for this car, so... Should it come up for sale because the original person decides they don't want it or can't afford it when it's done with whatever it's going to be it can be yours but right now it's mine and we're about to try and cram it on my baby trailer which we're pretty sure is a mistake but we're also sure it's going to fit we're going to find out here shortly while we're out here and i'm waiting for grant to return with some muscle and a tractor I'm going to try and give you a quick tour of another Volkswagen honey hole that I'm privy to and if you see anything you need want let me know a lot of you know Grant he's kind of the Tallahassee area guy um, I'm not gonna be able to walk the whole property because he's in the process of helping me load and I should probably be helping him uh, but here is a quick tour there are many many buses back there and you can see many, many, let me see if I can zoom. Many, many beetles and such back there. There's a couple type threes, there's an older one. This is one of the original ones I was gonna buy off him when I first met him, but that just didn't, uh, that fell through for whatever reason or another. But like I said, if you see anything you need, let me know. He likes it to go to a good home and he's fairly priced and he's got plenty of it and he's willing to barter and I can be your middleman and if I gotta pick it up and meet you with it or whatever, let me know. He's in Tallahassee and I'm between Tallahassee and Dothan and Panama City Beach. I'm kind of in the trifecta area, so look, look how old. And he's got, I'm not even over in the front half of the yard. There's a bus. There's a supercharged Beetle over there. There's like five more buses over there. Carmen Ghia, another bug. What's up, everybody? We're back. It's the next day. You can tell because, well, there's no beetle on the trailer. Some of you more observant viewers may have noticed that. Um, we had a little problem. You see, when I bought this trailer, it was just supposed to be to haul around all of my car show equipment or whatnot. And um, I got the idea that I could probably get a beetle on here because I bought an 8x10 trailer. Beetle's 13 feet long, but the wheelbase is only seven and a half feet, so should fit. We measured everything height-wise over the rails, and then I drove an hour and change uh, through dense smoke and forest fires, because that's what we got going on around here, and high winds. And uh, we tried to cram the Super Beetle on there, and we got it all the way on to where the back wheels touched right there. And we realized there was still a foot and a half of car hanging off. And I was like, well, that's strange. I don't understand that. I said, I better go check my credit card receipt digitally on my phone. And I said, man, I am so excited to go back and tell them they gave me the wrong size trailer. I'm going to go back and get an even bigger trailer. It's going to be cool. And then I realized it says right there that this is a 5 by 8 trailer. Not the 8x10 that I thought I had purchased. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. I'm just hanging on. I'm making a video. Give me two seconds. Yeah, so anyway, long story short, I own a 5x8 and a beetle doesn't fit. And that's why that beetle didn't come home. He even had it fit on the trailer. With the way the winds are now and the smoke and everything and driving conditions, I don't think it would have been super smart to put a single axle trailer. But we were going to zerb it down real good and... Tow nice and slow down 90, but um, I don't think that's that obviously didn't pan out. So at some point I'm going to have to go flat tow it uh, back from Crawfordville. Until then, I don't have any shows or events that really require 
clockwork he's put away in the beetle barn however i do have an upcoming event in uh, daytona uh, april 1st to the 3rd i've been invited to go down and run on the track and do some photography and videography down there. They're going to have some professionals down there doing that. And there's a, it's a big Herbie meet. The 53rd anniversary of number 53. It's the 53rd anniversary of the movie. So I'm going to go down there. And I, I've been neglecting herbicide pretty bad. So uh, I got to throw a secondary air injection pump delete on him. And I'm probably going to take the toe hitch off of him. Because I'm fairly certain that thing is going to hit the ground uh, when I go around the track. I got to get them detailed and cleaned up and I'm going to try and get the back tent fixed because uh, you probably can't see it through all the pollen but uh, yeah, back tent is going and the car always looks good from a distance but if you look that's just mold from the car sitting out here and I never put a clear coat on it so I've got some sort of parasitic battery um, drain right now i'm fairly certain it's because of my shoddy gauge job um i didn't have it before and now i do so i bought some parts to fix that so the upcoming content is probably going to be very herbicide focused so i hope you guys will support that as much as you guys like the clockwork stuff and all the other volkswagen stuff and uh, i will eventually have full coverage of the um herbie event down in daytona beach at the track we're going to get to run on the rolex and the daytona uh lower inside apparently so that should be cool i'm willing to bet i'm probably the fastest herbie out there i'm also probably the ugliest but uh if anybody wants to run it while we're down there we can run it anyway that's what's going on gonna be a lot of herbie centric videos and uh, not so much clockwork and uh, i won't be neglecting him he's just got some things that need to get wrapped up and while i've got him in the barn it's easier to work on there the rest of the week is supposed to be rain so probably not gonna be too many videos coming up this week but um yeah it's gonna be a lot of herbie related stuff so check it out thanks for the support appreciate it cars and coffee kings out